Hey guys, it's me, The Calm Gamer, and I'm here today to bring you a Farming Simulator 2015 tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to get fast money at the very beginning when you first create a new save. So let's jump right in. You want to start a brand new career on a fresh save. Then the difficulty should be on easy, and the map you want to choose is Bjorn Home. First of all, you've got to wait for the map to load, so when it does load, click A to start it. And you can take the tutorial at the very beginning if you want to, but if you're comfortable with the game, click no. As you see, you spawn straight in at the farm. Here, you want to click left or right on the D-pad, as this will allow you to cycle through the vehicles you own. You want to go to the one which is at the shop, and then jump out. On Xbox, you want to click Y to access the shop catalogue, then click Y again to enter the garage. Here, it shows you all the vehicles and tools you own. You want to sell everything except from one agro star 6.61. This is a tractor you'll need to cut the grass to produce silage. All the rails sell to create money so you can buy other tractors and tools for our job. Once it's done, you want to then go back into the catalogue. Okay, so now it's done, go into the catalogue and choose tractors. Here you want to purchase a New Holland. T4.75 Power Star Tractor. Go back into the catalog, go to front loaders, and then you'll want to buy the New Holland 750TL. After this, go to the end and choose a universal bucket. Okay, now go back into the menu again. Here, you want to go to mowers, and you want to choose the second one. This FC 3525F and then you want to go to loading wagons and you want to choose the Carex 38S. After you've done that you want to go to weight. You want to choose SB 1600 as this will like create the tractor more balanced when loading and unloading the silage. As shown now, this is all the tools you should have bought from the shop. If it doesn't look like this, go back to the previous stages and go back for it. Now you want to go back into the tractor and you want to drive it down to the shop. I'll just fast forward this one quickly. Okay, so now we're here. This is all the tools you should need. I'll hop out again to quickly show you everything. And as I said before, if this is not how it looks for you, then you want to go back and just make sure you've got everything. Okay, so now you've got all the tools, hop in the green aggro star, and the tools you want to put on this tractor are the front mower and the loading wagon. This is the setup for this tractor which you'll be cutting the grass with. So first of all, go put the front mower on, click A to attach it, and then move over to your loading wagon and do the same. It may take a bit of time to put on, but once it's on, just drive off and leave the stuff behind, as we'll be coming back to that now. Now jump to the New Holland, and the things you want on this is the front loader, the universal bucket, and the weight at the back. As this is a setup for after we've compressed and fermented this grass into silage, this is what we'll be using to sell it. Make sure you put the weight on, because without putting the weight on, it'll be too front heavy and it'll be imbalanced when trying to sell it and it'll make it much harder trying to drive the tractor. So when I set up, hop back in the aggro star and you want to start cutting grass. You do this by holding LB and clicking B and A to turn on and lower the loading wagon and click the start button, the one next to the start button and then the same again, B and A to lower and start the grass cutter. Now just cycle along any grass areas. This will cut the grass and collect it automatically. As, look, as you can see located in the bottom right of the screen, there's a percentage and an amount. These two show how much grass you have collected or stored out of the total 100% of the loading wagon. So you want to carry on cutting this until it reaches 100%. Once it's 100%, you'll 
you want to make your way down to the biomass plant at the very bottom of the map, but I'll show you after. There's lots of areas you can cut grass, but the one I most recommend is by the biomass plant, which I'll show you after. But as I said, just keep on going around cutting grass until the percentage is full. As I'm showing you now, this is the area which I cut most of my grass in. This is because it's such an open area and it grows back very fast, so it's easy to turn around and collect a lot of grass fast. So now I'm showing you the plant in front, and as you see on the map, it's located at the very bottom of the map. Make sure you make your way here. After you're here with a 100% fully loaded loading wagon full of grass, you want to make your way in. Now you can choose a number of these four bays, but I would always choose the first one, as this is the closest to the area where you set it. So all you want to do is drive in there, and it should give you the option A to unload. What you've got to do is hold and unload it. Hold A and it will unload. This can be picky sometimes, so you may have to just slow down completely and stop moving. You can tell it's doing it right, as you can visually see the grass falling out. If not, if you look in the bottom right, the percentage is dropping. This will show you that the grass is being dropped there at the back. It does take about three loads of grass before you can actually cover it up and ferment it into silage. So you will need to do this three times. I will show you every time I've done it, just to prove. When it's done, simply just drive out and then carry on cutting grass. Grass is not the best way to produce silage, but it is the best way when you first start out because you don't have enough money to get the main equipment to be able to produce efficient corn to turn into silage. But after doing this, you'll have about 600 grand. This will be plenty enough of money to be able to get all the equipment to start doing corn. Corn is good as it gives you a much better yield to turn into silage and it takes much less time. But you have got to plant, cultivate and um, harvest rather than just going around with a grass cutter. So maybe it is less time but you can actually employ workers to do that for you. So then you're not doing the work yourself. As I said before, you just want to keep on coming back when you're full and unloading. Okay, here's my last load. I'm going to go fetch it now and bring it in. Once this is done, there will be three stages you need to do. You want to drop it off. You will have to go over it with your tractor as this will then compress it because you need it to be compressed to 100% for you to be able to turn it into uh, silage by covering up. And the last stage is fermentation which is done when you after you cover it up. But as I just said you want to bring in your third and final load. You want to just unload it above. You want to try and keep it in one area as this will make it easier when you're collecting it after to put in and sell. Okay, so once it's unloaded, all of it, you want to just drive your loading wagon just a bit out of the way so it's not in your way when you're going every, over everything and compacting it. And then just unattach it by clicking A, as I show you now. Okay, now that's done, you just want to go back over with your tractor and drive over the grass, as this is the compacting stage. As, it, as you've shown in the top left corner, it shows you the percentage of how much air is actually being compacted. Once this has reached 100%, it is ready to have a sheep run over. So this is what I do, I just drive around in circles, keep on reversing and driving forward, because this will just compact the area. Whereas if you drive over it, it'll spread out and it'll make it harder in the long term. As I just shown then, once it's reached 100%, it, the sheet gets put over. Once that's done, you want to go to settings and you want to put time to 120 times, as this is the fastest the time will cycle. This means the fermenta fermentation stage, shown in the top left corner again, 
will uh, go the fastest. Otherwise you'll be waiting for it to become fermented into silage for a long time. Okay, so now it's done, it should look like this. You should have the brown looking silage ready. When this is all done, you want to cycle back to the shop, as this is where you have your tractor for this stage. What you need to do here is just drive the tractor all the way over to the biomass plant where we have been recently working, so by now you should know the way there. It shouldn't take long to drive it there, but just be careful for traffic and you don't want to flip it. Remember it has got a bit of imbalance on it because of course it's not purposely made for the job. That's why in the future when you get a lot more money you upgrade to the bigger things which get, can store a lot more. Once you're at the actual plant itself you can see the front loader, the universal bucket. Holding LB moving the right analog stick right to left will tilt the orientation of the bucket and moving the right analog stick up and down will change the height of the front loader. Using this setup when going to collect the silage you want the bucket on the bottom on the lower setting and the tilt being facing towards the silage. Then just push the orientation so it's facing up and then lift the bucket up. Here you want to drive it over to here and you'll just want to pour it in. As you see in the top right of the screen your money is increasing. This is how you sell the silage. You'll be looking to get about 6 grand for every time you load a bucket. This can increase to about 10 grand if a demand for silage does come in. As I was fortunate on one of my other saves when I first started out, this can increase the amount of sales you do get and the amount of profit you get. But as you've just seen there, it is quite hard to be banned, so you want to make sure you do it quite slow. Because if you do tip it, you have to click the left analog stick and you have to reset everything. This means going back to the farm and driving it all the way back down and that's time loss, so you just want to be more careful and take it slowly. I'll jump to the end once I've nearly finished unloading it all. Okay, as I'm sure now, I am on my very two last bucket loads. In the top right corner, you'll see I've earned about 400k through doing this method. On a lucky day, say you get a demand for silage, this can increase to about 600k. So all, all depends upon if you do get a demand or not. This is a very good way when you first start out, because by growing and selling crops with the uh, machinery they give you the very beginning, you'd be getting about 40 grand for a load. And that is very low compared to the 400 grand you're getting through creating silage. Remember there is better ways of producing silage though. The only reason why we're doing this is this is the only way we could have done it with the money we've got. Otherwise you can grow cro uh, corn which you can harvest into silage. And you can just have a larger grass set up by having fields, wind rowers and just the two back uh, grass cutters and the one set up on the front which will give you a much faster way of cutting grass. But anyway. Just make sure you subscribe and tell me what you thought of this video in the comments if it has helped you earn a lot of money. And if you are interested in getting more money in the later stages, make sure to subscribe because I'll, bring I'll be bringing out a video of how to create a lot of silage when you have about 700 grand. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.